Christine Val is an entertainer and spokesperson for the alopecia community. Over the last four years, she has worked tirelessly to create courses promoting the mental health and confidence of young girls with alopecia. But behind her now confident stature was once a woman who was unsure of her future in an unanticipated war with hair loss. And her story is awe-inspiring. I had long, beautiful blonde hair for 22 years, had never even heard of the word alopecia. It fell out out of nowhere. I glued on a wig and I was really in a dark place for a long time. And I decided to move from back home from Philly, Pennsylvania, out to LA and was like, I'm not gonna tell anybody that this is a wig. I'm just gonna pretend to still be the, the girl I used to be. Comments, whether positive or negative about her wig, brought her down. People would always be like, oh my God, what's your natural color hair? Or, oh, are those hair extensions? Or, oh, are you wearing a wig? Or whatever the comment would be. I literally would like go to the bathroom and cry and like it would really affect me. And I just got to the point that I was like, I can't live like this forever. Finally, she had enough. She knew she had to change. Not her hair, but her mindset. I decided to share my story and take off my wig. I was in Sports Illustrated Swim as the first bald model. And then I was like, this needs to reach more people. So I really just was like craving a community that people felt like they belonged because for so long I was like I'm the only one going through this no one gets it why me why me and then I kind of flipped the script and was like I'm going to create a space for others to feel like they are okay and that this is normal to lose your hair. Val took control of the reins over her life and pushed through to become her most authentic self. I was like wait a second <laughs> now I'm bald and I want to build a community of girls that feel like they are the same and walking into a new room like having each other's back and so I was like, oh, well, now I'm bald, so let's do Balterage. An appetite for mutual community grew, and she set out to create a safe space for all the girls with alopecia or no hair. They go to school and not, none of their friends look like them, none of their teachers, none of their family, like nobody looks like them. So when they come on Zoom and see me as their teacher and connecting with them, they're like, oh, there is someone else in the world that I can look up to that looks like me. What is your favorite thing of Confidence Club? I used to feel alone before I was in Balturage and now I know so many girls that are my age that have allegation. Give it literally three months and they're like so happy to be there sharing about their alopecia talking about it and it's just you can just see that it's just so much more normal to them her specialized courses push these young girls to be proud of their appearance hosting events like fashion shows to honor their unique beauty i would say it's okay i'm just like you we can be friends forever people who don't have hair or have alopecia it's like literally changed everything for me when when i lost my hair i i legit thought like I'm never gonna be happy again and now because I see the impact that I'm that I'm making by living my truth and bringing people together who who have this in common you don't have to be feel shame or feel like something's wrong with you or feel like you're not enough or not worthy because this is happening to you it's happening because we're meant for something bigger and just by existing as a bald woman or a bald kid or a bald person that people are, are gaining something from us whether just by looking at us in admiration or looking at us like oh she's a lot of strength to be doing that i feel like we're, we're making a difference in the world just by existing as ourselves